So I wanted to do a think piece about Dak Prescott and his eyes of winning the MVP. So shouts out to my sponsor for the day, sportsbettingdime.com. See, I go to Sports Betting Dime whenever I need information, like up-to-date game previews, championship odds, and big sports breaking news. So I took a look at their NFL MVP tracker to see where Dak Prescott ranked amongst his peers, and he did pretty good in the first part of the season, but Pat Mahomes is so fantastic that he's taking over the number one spot. But Dak is still top 10, though, so I'll keep my eyes on that. I'll leave the link for Sports Betting Dimes MVP tracker in the description box. You can always go back to that link because it changes after every performance. Then after you take a look, come back to the comment section and tell me if Vegas got it right. That's sportsbettingdime.com. I'm Vash Lombardi and I approve this message. So somebody legitimately did ask me on my on my Twitter. They asked me, um, you know, how do I feel about Dax? chances to win the MVP well you know I know that Vegas is going to do the thing to where they kind of play on your emotion and kind of you know like hey Dak has had two bad games there's no way Dak's going to be the MVP now like you know Vegas got to make their money somehow but I do think that it's more so about the end results which your which your stats and how your team is in stance with the rest of the league I think that's what's most important and I took a look at some other numbers I just wanted to share this with you it's more of a think piece of anything um, I know Dak had a loss versus the uh, versus the Saints and the Packers or whatever, but Dak really wasn't terrible in those games. Like Dak still threw for 400 some odd yards versus the uh, the uh, Packers in that loss. So let's not count them out just yet. But I, I took a look at these numbers here. I, I, I pulled up the numbers of everybody, and then I pulled up the numbers of past MVP winners. And you know, Dak was kind of in that conversation with those guys. So this is the current list, right? We've taken a look at yards, like total yards, and Dak is at 1606, the fourth overall right now, or the fourth uh, the fourth ranked right now. He's right in that conversation. Pat's at 1831 because Pat is fantastic, but you know, we'll see like I think Dak is able to make a to make a comeback in that situation. Now we're talking about um, you know, average yards per passes, you know, or just average yeah. I think there's like average passes uh, per game or something like that. I don't know, but Taysom Hills one pass don't really count right here. I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really gonna uh, take into account him. And I thought he would be throwing the ball a little more, but I don't know. But Dak Prescott, nine point four yards per play, man. That's that's a that's a nasty low average, man. Uh, if you averaging damn near ten yards a play, let's see. Uh, we're not counting Nick Foles because he hurt, but yeah. So Dak is tied up with with Pat with this number with the nine point four. I think that's interesting. Let me move this along a little bit. Did I look at the yards per game? The average yards per game? I did I did look at the average yards per game and Dak is number four right there with his uh three hundred and twenty one Pat just so fantastic, man. <laughs> Boy, if Dak can somehow turn this thing around and just make this meteoric rise and pass up on Pat, man, I'm gonna be talking about noise all year. Uh, I look at I looked at uh, touchdowns. Russell Wilson with his 12, and uh, a lot of guys are tied at 11 or whatnot. So you know, we'll see what happens when guys can just kind of get away from that number there, but. And you know, just if you if you if you look at the rest of the, at the rest of the numbers, Dak isn't really far away from the rest of these guys. And if you take a look at these last two numbers, these last two stats that I really like, and I'm not a stat guy, but I do think that these are very important plays of, of 20 yards or more. Dak is at 24, Pat is at 28, and you would think that Pat is smoking Dak in that conversation, but apparently not. And um, Dak is tied in second place with Marcus Mariota uh, at six, while Pat is at eight. So. I think it's gonna be a be a little bit of a a little bit of a track meet to see if we can catch up to Pat Mahomes. Now the good thing about it, we gotta play the Eagles twice. We gotta play the Redskins again. We gotta play the Giants again. You know what I mean? Like we got opportunity to put hands on people, and uh, we plan the Jets this week. Um, so I'm really interested to see if Dak can catch up uh, catch up to the boy Pat Mahomes. So this is an interesting little exercise, just looking at these numbers. Uh, let's take a look at some other stuff though. So I thought it would be important to look up some numbers from your past MVP winners, right? So uh, I, I I looked up uh, Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady, uh, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Aaron Rodgers, and Peyton Manning. And the only reason I stopped at Peyton Manning is because Adrian Peterson was at 2012. You just can't stun on Adrian Peterson like that. But Pat won it last year, right? So Pat's numbers last year was 5,097 yards, which is insane. Um, 50 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. All right, cool. But... Uh, but a number that I think was important there is that he is a playoff winner, he, a playoff uh, like a playoff contender or whatever, playoff contestant. They went 12 and four that year, and those numbers are huge and fantastic. So I think that's something that's important when we're taking a look at this thing. Let me move this out the way. 
Move this out the way. We're looking at Tom Brady, right? Tom Brady's 2017 campaign. Take a look at him. He was 13-3 that year. He won the MVP also in 2010. Um, where he went 14 and 12 that year. He also won the MVP in 2007 when he went 16 and 0. Now, that can't go 16 and 0. Like, that's already done for. But uh, I find it interesting, man. But in those years, he scored, uh, he threw for 4,100 yards, 4,800 yards, 4,500 yards. Can Dak get there? I absolutely think he can. Uh, what, what about his touchdown marks? Where were those at? His touchdown marks were 50. Mm, 50 uh 36 and 32 we can we can we can catch those numbers we can get there i think young Dak prescott can get to those numbers we'll see we'll cross that road who else we had we had matt ryan he won it in 2016 and he went 11 and 5 he went to the playoffs that was his super bowl contending year 4900 yards and 38 touchdowns you know what i mean so it just depends man it, it depends and i think it'll be worth looking at um I think it'll be worth looking at. I think even if Dak doesn't out out throw Pat Mahomes, right? Dak ain't got to have more passing yards because you know the MVP ain't necessarily uh, the highest scoring yardage championship. They can just give that that to the offensive MVP. I think the MVP it, it's a it's a combination of yards and impact on the team and all that kind of stuff. So. Hey man, we'll see what happens with the rest of the year, man. But Cam Newton, Cam Newton definitely out. He ain't out throwing nobody else. But he did go 15 and one that year. He threw for 3,800 yards and 35 passing touchdowns. Uh, his rushing numbers are probably a whole another, um, a whole another discussion. But he went 15 and one that year. Now Dak can't go 15 and one, but assuming that this table gets run, uh, that we run the little table or whatever, I, I just think, man, I think it's possible. I think I'm not, I'm not in the. I don't have a horse in this race right now because y'all know I don't like to make bold proclamations. But if somebody asked, I thought it was interesting to just take a these look, take a look at these numbers, and um, see what we come up with. Aaron Rodgers won the MVP in 2014. They went 12 and 4 that year. I don't remember the Super Bowl year. I think the Super Bowl year was 2011, I believe. I don't know. Somebody let me know. Chat box. I'm not a I'm not a Packers fan. <laughs> I don't keep up with the with the uh, tomfoolery that. But um. Aaron Rodgers, uh, 2014, 12 and four up here. He won it again in 2011, 14 and one. That's a good way to win a daggum MVP, man. <laughs> you go 14 and one, 4,600 yards, 4,300 yards. So, hey, man, Dak can catch these people, man. I ain't scared of these people. I just want Kellen Moore to get um to to you know just keep everybody on 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 track, man. Because I know a lot of people are gonna feel like, oh man, we lost the game to to Green Bay. We look terrible. Nah, just because you lost the game don't mean you necessarily look terrible. I mean, it just, it just means that you lost the game. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like, like, and then look at how we won. Look, look at how we won the game. We won the game in a um, in a large, large, uh, you know, with a with a high with a high stat rate or whatever. You know what I mean? And and you know, numbers aren't aren't everything, but. Um, Numbers aren't everything, but we didn't just roll over and, you know, comply. Like, we actually put up a big fight in that game, so. And look, hey, man, look, when I looked at Peyton Manning numbers, I got discouraged. <laughs> I got discouraged. Peyton Manning got five MVPs. Yeah, let's see. He went 12-4, 12-4, 14-2, 13-3, and 13-3 again, okay? What about his touchdown numbers? Because I can't see. Let's see. His touchdown numbers, he went, how he win the, how he win the MVP with 29 touchdowns? That's interesting. 29 touchdowns, 49 touchdowns, 28 touchdowns. Then this was the big one, that last Bronco year that he was really good and wasn't really good after that, too, too much like he was at first. 55 touchdowns for 5,477 yards, man. Boy, I see that. Look, I look. I take a look at that 2013 paid man of year. I say, man, Dak ain't never win the MVP if that's what it take. And I'm just gonna play the rest of this out while I talk to you. But uh, Dak is my guy. Dak is my guy. And you know, I'm I'm more so football guy. I'm not really like accolade guy, so I don't really too too much care um whether he wins the mvp or not but i was asked though i was asked and um i, th I thought it, it would just be interesting to take a look at these numbers man take a look at these numbers and see what we uh and see what we uh came up with i thought it would be worth taking a look now they have dak prescott in the top 10 somewhere they being vegas and sports betting down let us know that uh let us know that information but um they got uh, you know dak dak's ranked in the top 10 somewhere man i think and i truly think that if we bring back that field that we got in those first three weeks, man, 
there there shouldn't be a reason. Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I ain't want to hold y'all too long. Man. I just wanted to kind of do this little thing piece, get my thoughts on that. Shouts out to sportsbettingdime.com, man. That link is in the description. Check out their NFL MVP tracker. I'll be looking at it all year, man. Um, their Super Bowl MVP tracker, all, all that stuff. They got some valuable information over there in terms of, like, uh, you know, stats, ratings of, you know, how, how like, Vegas is looking at stuff or whatever. So, uh, like I said, Dak is, Dak is top 10 right now. So, we'll see how that changes throughout the year. All right. Um, appreciate y'all for being my sponsor. Everybody else, follow me on Twitter. Y'all know how that goes. And hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you know when I drop random videos in the middle of the week just like this. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski and the Peace Whiskey. Salute.